What up? No, welcome. As we are back to another video of and will be the show as we do this every almost every single day here on this channel we're gonna jump into may the fourth the fourth may the force be with you here yes that's right may the fourth so my uh my girlfriend's dad's birthday he got a lucky one he got may 4th which is pretty dope but uh we'll go into it a couple of games here we're gonna have 10 games here um a couple of series we'll close out here I don't think we have any new series starting in this one here. No, everyone's the, yeah, they're all gonna close out here. So we're gonna have to advance today because I forgot to advance the day before I started this video. But the first game we're going to have is looking like Chicago and Washington. So we'll go over to Chicago and Washington. Uh, as Washington and National will try to tie up the series at two and just close it out as, as a split series. Tim Conte last night went with eight innings pitched, nine strikeouts. So a good performance for the Nationals last night. Uh, two to three. I mean, that's a that's two to three months. He's gone. Auto fix all. That's the minor league team. Keep active. Keep active. Danny Jansen is back and no longer injured. Auto utilize him, I guess. Logan Gilbert's also back. Uh, I guess auto utilize. These are double A teams. The Reds. Jake Frilly is auto utilize, I guess. Uh, Eli Lingos. Okay, cool, perfect. So let's see. It's gonna be Strasburg against Justin Steele here tonight. Uh, in the first game of the day, Chicago Washington. Um, Let's get into this one. It's Justin Steele, Steven Strasburg going at it here. 1-3, uh, Steven Strasburg, who I've thought about maybe a trade, a target to a team that might be wanting to get there, but he needs to be better before we can make that trade and get something out of him. Uh, Justin Steele on the other side is having a good having a good start to the year. Chicago's already up 1-0 on Strasburg. Let's see how many innings. Two or two zero. That's it first. And they got him to him that inning. And uh, he's not going long innings now. So we're going to bring in... Uh, Gray, who's taking a spot in the bullpen, and he's been solid, as And there's Washington making the comeback. It's a 5-4 game right now. It's 6-4, and this is a chance for them to close it out. We're going to bring in Kyle Finnegan. Try to get this one here for the Nationals. It's a close game, so we're going to let the computer take it. And the Nationals have been the Cubs. They split this series. Josiah Gray gets player of the game. Three innings pitch, three strikeouts. He's been better now as a, in the bullpen than as he was as a starter. Um, so that means they get the win there. I'm going to take a look at the box score real quick, see what happened here. Um, home run from Trey Mancini for the Cubs. Hewer will get the loss. Oh, no home runs on the Nationals, so they still won the game. Kyle Finnegan gets his sixth save of the year. Uh, Steven Strasburg doesn't get the win. It goes to uh, Josiah Gray. Good for him. Definitely uh, maybe a better spot for him to be in the bullpen. Uh, the Cubs will go up against Miami, which could be better for them. Uh, it's a team that's also struggling, and it's the same thing with the Nationals. They're going to face a struggling Arizona team, so a couple games are going to be from struggling teams who are going to try to make it, their life a little bit better. I thought the Nationals would be a lot worse, but they're 12-19. and 19. Not bad. All right, so we'll move on. I see a 110 game here. I see a couple 110 games. We're going to do the first one, which is Detroit and New York, so let's do Detroit and New York. Uh, Detroit, I think... They are looking, uh, they lost last night to Max Scherzer, but they're at least looking to take the series here when they put Turnbull against Senga. So let's see what happens. Senga hasn't lost a game yet this year, uh, so this could be his first loss. One and, uh, one and zero. One and zero, two to zero. New York is still up, two zero. Turnbull's not having a terrible game, three zero now. We're gonna to let him out this game. We're gonna bring in Matt Manny now for the rest of them, four zero. 4-0, 4-1, Detroit got a run on him, Matt Manning. And it looks like I think they're going to go Edwin Diaz. And Edwin Diaz, another save for the guy. Uh, and the Mets win the series here. Uh, they finally come back after losing a couple games. They take these, uh, this series from the Tigers. As expected, Senga now is 4-0 with a 1.63 ERA. Uh, five strikeouts in this game. What's this, Edwin Diaz? I know you got a save in this one. You box score. Home run for McNeil and Pete Alonzo. Uh, let's see what happened else. Edwin Diaz got his 10th save of the year and a home run for Mikhail Badu. So Badu is still doing pretty well. Was the only run for Detroit. All right, Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay. That 110 game here. So let's take a look at how this series is going. I don't think it's going well for a. It's a 1 1 split series. They lost the first game 0 6, but last night they came up and won that game. Adam got the close on the Pirates. It's Mitch Keller. When real life is doing much better than this against Drew Rossmith. So that's why I'm not giving up on Drew Keller. I do believe Mitch Keller, he has a lot of potential. So maybe this game he shows up a little bit more. 
Pittsburgh's already up 2-0. Two, 2-0. Zero. Two, zero. It still dares 2-2. Two, 2-0. Two. Two, We're going to go another inning with Drew. I think this is it for Drew. We're not going to go anymore. Uh, Patino. Patino got allowed one run into that, but we're going to let him keep going. Oh, Pittsburgh up 4-2. I think we're not going to give Patino another chance. We're going to give uh, Taj Bradley a chance. Oh, they blew up on Taj. Poor Taj Bradley. Allowed four runs, and Pittsburgh looks like they're on their way to taking this series. They're going to put Bernard in, and Bernard gets the job done. The Pirates win this series. Uh, and we view the box scores. Yes. RBIs from Connor Joel. And, you know, everybody got themselves in that RBI discussion. Uh, not bad. It looks like it's uh, Bernard. He's not going to get the save, though, but he at least gets in the game. Ah, what happened, Tampa Bay? 19 and 13, Tampa Bay. 16 and 16 now. Uh, they're going to go in with that record against New York. Um, that Their their games, uh, their lead is definitely dwindling right now. As the Yankees have been winning, and so have Tampa Bay as well. As for Pittsburgh, let's take a look at what Pittsburgh's going to have. Their schedule come up next. Toronto. So they'll uh, go back home, face Toronto. That would be a good series as well. So let's see what's the next game that we have here on the 4th. Today's games. Uh, no more 1 o'clock games. I have one more here in St. Louis. The Angels and uh, the Cardinals here. The Angels will get Texas next. Meanwhile, St. Louis will get uh, the Detroit Tigers up next at home. And they're hoping to take the series from the Angels here as Tyler Anderson will be on the mound for the Angels and Mike McCullough will be on the mound for the Cardinals. So let's see. The two, uh, they just want to continue to chase the Astros and their St. Louis though. 2-1 now. The Angels making their presence known. It's a 2-2 game. 4-2. I think this is it for McCullough. We're going to bring in Libertore. And he allows one run. So it's 4-3 game. Allowed three. Uh, that's bad. That's a bad performance. And now Genesis Cabrera will step in. It's now a 6-5 game. The Angels are out by one. We're going to not let Genesis go in, so we're going to bring in Gallegos. Giovanni Gallegos make 8-5. to five. This is a chance for the Angels to get the save. We're going to let it happen, and the Angels get the save. Carlos Estevez gets the save. The Angels take the series from the Cardinals. 8-5. to five. Mike Trout with two home runs, four RBIs. What a hell of a game for Mike Trout there. Good for the guy, man. That's that's the that's the goat right there for me. Uh, SFS gets a six save of the year. Tepero will get a win. The Angels win this, and they're going to move on uh, to take the Texas Rangers on next, and they get their 20th win of the year. Okay, good job, Angels. Good job. That's your 20th win of the year. And uh, now we'll move on to the next one. The Cardinals get their eight. They lost back-to-back -back games, but they'll get Detroit up next, so we'll see how that goes for them. All right, next game. Now we got the... Uh, I got a 310 game here. I got a 47 here, Eastern Time. I got 210 games. I have a 210 game here. I have a 210 game in uh, Chicago between Minnesota and the, the White Sox, who were almost on the verge of losing last night, pulled the comeback on uh, Minnesota and are looking for the sweep as Kenta Maeda takes on Lance Lynn here in this game. Maeda has a good ERA, but it could be definitely changed at the end of this one. And Minnesota's up 3 0 already in this game. It's a 5-1 game, and I think that's it for Lance Lynn. One more inning just to get him out there. Lance Lynn definitely not looking like uh, the Lance Lynn we've seen the whole year. And Bummer allows three runs. And Minnesota definitely laying out their frustration in this game. It's 9-2. They're definitely laying out that frustration here. 9-2. Maeda was still in the game. Ronaldo Lopez and Griffin Jacks now going to put it away. And Minnesota will take this one. They'll lose a the series, but they at least take this game from the Twins. 9-2. Jose Miranda, three RBIs, a double, stolen base. This guy continues to come up. Kenta Maeda gets the win, um, and Lance Lynn gets a loss. And the White Sox now move to 22-10. and 10. I don't think I have any I think the Astros are the only team that has. No, every team is now at double digits losses. So that's it. No more teams that are under uh, double digits and losses. And we, it's never going to be a, one team ever in the season. It's, it happens, but we made it all the way to May 4th uh, with that so let's see where we have next. Next game we have is the Baltimore-Kansas City game. Uh, Kansas City trying to take the series away from them here today. Against Grayson Rodriguez, it will be a definitely a tough one. He's a strikeout machine. But Zank Greinke, the veteran, will face him. And uh, I think Greinke has more years in the league than he, than uh, Grayson has years in life. Let's see what happens here. It's already 3-0. Baltimore already starts on Greinke. Well, Granky's holding his own here. 
There it is. Kansas City now pulls it back, and they're going to let Granky go out for that one. You trust Granky. You trust him again, and he went to the seventh, but that's it for Granky. I think you you take him out now. Jonathan Heasley will step in here. Three to four game, six to three. You definitely now bring in Chapman, who will try to get the save for his squad. And he'll get the win for you. Zank Granky got player of the game. The Royals will take this series from the Orioles. Grayson Rodriguez will suffer a loss. Granky gets the win. It's a 6-3 game. I wonder if he got the uh, the save. Let's see if he got the save. Chapman gets his fourth save of the year here. Kansas City 13-9 now and Baltimore 15-16. Uh, Kansas City will get the A's up next. So this could definitely change a lot of things for them. They could definitely change a lot of ways that they are working. Uh, the Orioles, on the other hand, uh, two games in a row lost, but they'll play the Braves, so that's going to be a tough one. A team that's already won that many games. They've already won 21 games, so it's going to be tough. But let's see what we have next. 310. I have another 310 game here. Milwaukee and Colorado. Let's go to Milwaukee. Let's go to Colorado on this one. We saw this game last night, and it went the... Uh, Went the way Colorado wanted. They got the save at the end, but there was some dramatics at the end. Um, Connor uh, Corbin Burns, 5-0 so far this year with a 1.83 RA against Austin Gomber, who hasn't won a game yet and has a five, an ERA over 5. So let's see what happens here when these guys face each other. And their closer and the closing uh, game of their series, Milwaukee's already up. 1-0, 2-0. I think you take out Gomber. You don't let him go anymore. Uh, Ty Block will come into it. Three. It's over. Milwaukee's taking this game. Oh, never mind. Colorado's down by one. Justin Lawrence is returning from injury. We'll hold it into it. And now your 5-4 game here in Colorado. Jose Urina. We're going to step in this game. It's a one-run game in Colorado. Let's jump into this game here. I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm listening to that. Let's jump into this game as it will be Jurix and Profar against Devin Williams. Devin Williams, surprisingly, has only had uh, three saves this year. Looking for save number four here in a day game in Colorado. Profar so far has a single and an RBI in this game. And up top, nothing really there. First pitch of the game, not always going to be on point. Steven Kwan has a 17-game hit streak. For the Cleveland Guardians. Devin Williams back to him again. And that's a strike. I think Profar should have gone for it. He should have taken the chance at it. But hey, I'm not a professional. And again, Devin Williams outside. It's not that one thing. It just yeah, I think the opportunities have not been there for the Brewers to get that many saves yet. And he's making the miss like that. Joe Ryan's got 10 Ks, but they still lost to the White Sox. They allowed uh, they allowed the White Sox to come back, and a hit there down the middle. Oh, right. How do you miss that one? Who was that? Who was that? Who? Who? Why? Who plays their spot? Ah, oh, you did not show me. Who plays? Who plays? Who's playing in the shortstop spot today? Who's got their shortstop today? Willie Adamas right now. Come on, Adamas. It's better than you're better than that. It comes right down the middle. Look at this. Bam. Went right through his arms. I don't think that's Adamas, though. I don't think that was Adamas. That's this guy's wearing the number two. Uh, is it Luis Urias? It could be Urias. It might have been Urias. Sorry, Adamas. Sorry. It's, it's Urias who allowed that one down the middle. And the bunt right here. Ezekiel Tovar trying to get that bunt. He's been 0 for 3. Definitely trying to avoid any double play situation that will cause two outs. And Devin Williams is like rolling his eyes over this. And another bunt again. And that's going to be a strike right there. That's a foul ball. 0-2 count. Tovar, you put yourself in this situation by not being able to, to bunt. And that's a strikeout right there, which uh, the Rockies did not want to see, and but they're going to see it there. Colorado already got their first out, and Devin Williams just says, just look at this pitch. Just stare at it. That's all you can do. And Alan Trejo now 0-3 for 3 in this game. Been having a solid season, though. That's the one thing, but... Milwaukee's trying to go for the the game winning uh, the gets gets the game winning uh, game winning outs right here, take the series from them. Five home runs, twelve RBI so far. Back to him again. Up top, nothing's there for him.
as Coors Field is ready to see the Rockies destroy here and take over here. There's a 3-1 count. Devin Williams right now on the verge of walking Alan Trejo and putting uh, runners in second and first. And he's going to walk Trejo. Not on purpose. It just happened. It just happened. Chris Bryant now coming up two for three in this uh, in this game. Two for 11 in the series. So this has been his best game of the series here so far. And we're going to see if the Rockies, who have a packed field, well, not almost a packed house here, even with one of the worst records in the league, still out here. Another ball, Devin Williams needing to figure it out here. The Brewers have been a very, a very underwhelming team. I think we were expecting more from them. So maybe the month of May can change that. The month of May can change it by taking on squads like the Colorado Rockets. One, two count with the one out, but you got runners on first and second. Devin Williams already 16 pitches into this at bat, not into this uh into this game, this inning here, and that's a strikeout of Chris Bryant. That's a big one right there. Elias Diaz so far, uh, one for three in this game. He's been having a solid year, as well too. Back up top right there. And a hit right there. Hit to the top up top. And back down again. It's a 3-2 count. Telling Devin Williams like Ch -ch -ch chill bro. Like where we got Randall Grilchuk coming up next. And a walk. Oh, strikeout to end the game. Strikeout looking. And that was definitely a strike. I would say it myself. That was the strike. The Brewers will take this series against Colorado. And you can't say Colorado didn't have the chance. They had the chance to win it there. They didn't come up on it. Devin Williams gets a save. Austin Gomer gets another loss. And Corbin Burns uh, still per uh, still perfect for the season right now. Still perfect. All four, he allowed four runs in this game, but... He is what, 6-0 uh, now? 6-0 now. Next time we'll see him is against the Dodgers, so that will be an interesting matchup to see. So win for him. All right, so who's next that we have? We have a 3 o'clock game. Yes, we do. Uh, Seattle, Oakland. Oakland hoping to avoid the sweep, but uh, they've been losing so many games. I don't I don't think they're going to. Paul Blackburn out there, too, against Luis Castillo. It's, it's the Mariners game to lose. As the Mariners will try to get the sweep of the A's here in Oakland. It's 1-0-1. One, one. Oh, Oakland, 2-1. You take out Burt, but he still has a couple more innings in him. I think you do it, especially since you've been using the bullpen so much. Uh, fuck, I really don't want to go to the bullpen. But uh, James Kaeperlin, let's see what he could do. 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, the A's are looking for their fourth win of the season and avoiding a sweep here at home at the hands of the Mariners. Teosco Hernandez is at bat. Trevor May is trying to get his first save of the season. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one here. A Trevor May on the mound here for Oakland against Teosco Hernandez. The Mariners looking to get the sweep of the A's. The A's trying to end their losing game streak that they've been having and uh, beat Seattle. But we'll find out. We'll find out. This has not been an easy a year for the A's. Not been an easy month. And the beginning of May has not been great for them either. And a pop up there. I don't think that's a home run. I think that's it. That's money there. I haven't really jumped into the A's too much this year. They haven't really been doing much. AJ Pollock is right now... Uh, one for three in this game. AJ Pollock. Let's see what he does here. Pollock is ready for it. Bam. Strike by Trevor May. 
Zach Johnson getting ready. He's normally the closer for the team, but I want to try Trevor May. Uh, give Zach Johnson. I know he's had a lot of days off, but I want to see what Trevor May can do. Trevor May brings it back down. Bam. Maybe it'll be a one-two combination if it ever gets to the A's. Like, this is just seeing who should remain on the roster and who shouldn't remain on the roster. And a hit right there by Pollock. No, it's a, it's it. And bam, there it is. An out right there. Aguilar gets that one. Reaches for it, but he got it. And that's two outs right now. The A's on the verge of winning their fourth game on May the 4th. Eugenio Suarez ready to go. I'm the worst team in baseball trying to get this win on Seattle here. This grade, they're winning, what, three games per month? Is that six months? Three games, 18 games is what they're projected to win. This may puts it right there, 2-1 count. Come on. Eugenio Suarez, the man that can take a big swing of the bat and change the game around, so... I wouldn't play around too much. I'd go for the kill and end this game right here. 2-2 two, two count. Oakland looking for that fourth win. One strike away from getting that fourth win on May the 4th. And they got it. Oakland gets a win. Avoids being swept here at home. Paul Blackburn should be the pitcher who gets the win. A good outing from him this game uh, compared to all the other games he's had. Good outing for Paul Blackburn. And let's see if the A's can build on this win. Uh, Luis Castillo gets the win, but Oakland will suffer the loss in the series. But, I mean, we'll see when they can get to that 10th win, if it's going to be in this month or in another month, like July or maybe August. Who knows? Uh, they're 4-28 four and th four and 28 now. They're going to play Kansas City up next, a team that they have, I think, not played yet, a team that they were challenging, though, for the worst team at one point in the season. Uh, Kansas City's 13-9 now. Oakland's 4-28. and uh, we will see the start of uh, the debut of Charles Tovar, a guy we signed for free agency against Jordan Lyles. We'll see how that works for Oakland. Um, but that's it. Seattle takes that. Uh, Seattle will take the next game, and they'll go into uh, Houston. A tough series there, but they can definitely, with a win, two out of one game, we'll put them at 19-15. So that would be good for them. But it's going to be a tough one against Houston. All right, let's see. The last game of the day, Miami-Atlanta. Another struggling squad, uh, Miami. Pitching's been their woes. They've lost uh, three in a row. And hoping to not lose this series. Trevor Rogers on the mound, though, against Kyle Wright. So two pitchers with really high ERAs. We'll see. Atlanta's already up 3-2. Atlanta's been scoring runs in this series. That's what they've been doing. I think we're going to let Rogers go one more. Yeah, he went one more, but that's it for him. That's it for him. We're going to go into the bullpen. Johnny Cueto, who we've put in the bullpen, continues to struggle. Uh, continues. To, Jesse Chavez, though, allowing them back into the game. Matt Barnes. Oh, come on. You had one job, dog. Rossiel Iglesias allowed two runs, but he's still going to get the save as a close game here between the Braves and the Marlins. Uh, Orlando Arcia will get the player of the game. A home run, two RBIs. Not bad. Not bad. In the... Uh, Braves will get the, the sweep of the Marlins. Marlins move to 11 and 21. Atlanta 22 and 11. Uh, the Miami Marlins will be on the road still as they'll travel to Chicago up next. Meanwhile, the Braves are going to get. Are they going to get the uh, what you would call them again? Oh no, they're going to play Baltimore. They've won how many games in a row? Five games in a row. So they're going a little bit on a winning streak against Baltimore at home uh, up next for them. All right, so I can't wait to see what the next couple games bring to us. Um, this video is coming to an end right now. I'm coming soon to it. This will be the next set of games that we will have. Next set of ones. Milwaukee, France, San Francisco. Uh, these are the games here. Bam. I want to see any ones that I'm really looking into. The Dodgers. Dodgers and Padres, a big one. Um, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, a lot, the Angels and the Rangers, a big one too. Um, New York and Tampa Bay also for the East. That's a big one. Yeah, a couple big games in there. Uh, in this in this weekend set of games. So I'm done. We'll come back with you the Cinco de Mayo 